Hey guys, Steve again, coming at you. Month three, today is May 16th, and it is now three months since my minimally invasive T-lift of uh, fusing my S1 to L5 and L5 to L4. I have several videos that talk about what happened with that, you know, car accident, degenerative stuff. Spine was just too unstable and too dangerous to not have it fixed with the multi level fractures on an L5 and L4. <clears throat> How am I doing in month three? Because I know my last video with month two, I was going through quite a bit of pain, questioning things, all that stuff. But, you know, just stayed the course and and month three has been so much better. I, I can't even tell you, like, better to the point where it felt like I'm almost getting back to, <clears throat> I can't say normal yet, because I haven't been able to operate and do normal things in, in quite a while. But I feel like I'm getting to the point where I will be able to start doing normal things and normal meaning uh, going out and taking out the trash and, you know, lugging two cans, um, picking anything up over 10 pounds, which I did get lifted from that. We'll get to that. Or, you know, going out, cutting the grass and weeding with no, no issues or normal, just sitting down at, at your desk and typing or walking through a grocery store, normal things. I feel like I'm, I'm starting to get closer to what normal is. And then we'll get to the point where I can start doing things like exercise, riding the bike, things that are a little bit more than normal that help you to feel better and physically get stronger and all that. So <laughs> I'm getting better. Um, <clears throat> I had that nerve issue go on with my foot. Um, I guess when the nerves release the prep, where's that thing? Yeah, how you, however they zoom in. <laughs> Anyhow, the nerve compression, I did PT to try to uh, work on getting that connected. Um, also had an MRI to try to, you know, see where we're going with the injection or not, which the MRI was po showed positive as in good results. It wasn't anything blood clot or from the surgery. Uh, we were waiting on the CAT scan, which did happen. Just doing a quick little recap from video two. You can go back and watch the two month video that really gets into what was going on. I feel so much better. Uh, mentally and emotionally about that and, and you know did I make the right decision and all that because you're gonna go through it people you're gonna have moments and I know I'm about to still have these moments as I am now moving into where I started actual PT for the back but that pain that I had in month two really started to calm down the foot nerves started to connect and we were waiting on the CAT scan which I got to the CAT scan because my neurosurgeon said that it all looked good, but he wanted to double check with the CAT scan to either have to change around some hardware or we can start PT. That that real sharp pain I mentioned in the other video that was like the worst pain in my life that shot through my right quad still feels like it wants to do that, but he thinks it's the IT band <clears throat> along with my physical therapist thinking the more I get moving and the more I get my back engaged in those muscles, because today's what, 89 days. So I haven't bent over until this past Friday when I started my back PT that I was approved for. I'm jumping around a little bit, but for my body to not move, that is probably what I would say month three has been more of. Not so much of the nerve stuff that connected well. My foot started feeling normal. I started walking again. And I started doing a little bit more around the house, a little bit more cooking, things like that. Um, really try to just get myself geared up to better health, healthier. Hard to cook when you can't bend over and pick pots and pans up and stuff. And um, the drugs, I'll, I'll, I'll do that real quick. I have come down. I don't take any of the, uh, I, I take Tylenol. Every once in a while, if I really exhaust myself, I'll, I'll end up taking like a, a half of a muscle relaxer or a half of the, the perk. I still have a few of those left just for the, those emergency cases. And I'll take the nerve medication. 
But other than that, I have I haven't been on any of the pain meds um, all throughout this this third month here, and I'm happy for that because it's you don't want to stay on that. That stuff will just you become dependent. It keeps you constipated. It keeps you weird, and it's messing up everything. But anyhow, I started getting the foot stuff connected, and then we went to have the CAT scan done and then wait to get the results of that, which was about a week ago. <laughs> and I took the results, I read them, they they looked like they was pretty good, but the concern was whether we're do, gonna change and do the hardware and go back down or I start the PT. So the neurosurgeon told me we were good to go. It looked stable, everything was still rock solid. Uh, the spine looked a lot better. He said the nerve canal was wide open, but it was time to get moving. He also said that it was morselized on the right side. Um, he didn't fix the break because it's gonna fuse over it. So, but none of it was affecting anything. So he said it was good to go to restrict, take off some of the restriction from 10 pounds and I can start to lift up to 20 pounds now. And the bigger thing was he said I could, remove the brace so i used to have the big back piece and he cleared me to have just this piece on for stability um if i wear it if i need it um and i still do feel like the stability is nice um but i can also wear it without when i do my pt i don't wear it um he said i could pretty much wean myself off of that anytime this week i want so that's your choice but i was relieved from that and I decided to stay with the physical therapist that was doing my foot because I just really liked her. I liked how she paid so much attention to me and, and was really digging deep into her A game. Well, I don't know if it was her A game, but whatever game she was doing, it was just all in for me. Especially when I started getting to the back, which I started this past Friday a few days ago on the first evaluation and she was very anxious to get at it. And then today I saw her for our first real PT session and she took me right away into a nice little warm up on uh, elliptical style uh, recumbent bike. And I was glad to do that because it makes me feel like you're halfway human again. And then we went through like maybe 10 plus exercises of core things, walking, crab, you know, all, all kinds of stuff with bands and, and even using the ball and throwing it up against the trampoline. I, I felt like I was getting a real workout today and she was going at it, loading up my my MedBridge app with the exercises so I could continue because I only have but so many exercises or PT sessions. And she's very aware of that. So the PT I feel is going to be huge. I, after the PT, I, I just walked a mile not long ago, um, about 30 minutes ago, and I'm at not that I, it, I'm trying to track it. I just, it shows up that I did it in 27 minutes at a 27 um, mile per hour pace. And that's huge because when I first started walking, I was at like 54 minutes. So I do feel like I'm on the right track. I feel very happy that I did the surgery still. Uh, I don't have regrets. I feel like the stability from the surgery. I don't think I would have had it if I didn't have the surgery. I don't think I ever would have felt this way if it wasn't for me getting the surgery. And I know people, I took a little ride to see my wife yesterday. She's in the Outer Banks for a week. And I just went to have lunch with her. And just to take that drive and then get in there. And we actually went to the, the clubhouse because the resort's on a golf course. And just to mention lumbar fusion or to everybody, they're like, oh my God, lumbar, blah, blah, blah. But you know, a lot of times that's th those negative, negativity of having a fusion, everybody's shying away and scared away from it. It's, it's not because they did it. It's usually because of the stories of someone that did it in 15, 20 years ago. And the technology 15, 20, just look at your phone. Look at the phone's technology just from five years ago. So, where we are today, having it minimally invasive, where you know it's less scar tissue and ligament damage, and just the technology itself, it's so much better. And again, I don't think I would have ever been 
to where I am again if it wasn't for that surgery. I don't think any treatment would have helped it. I mean, I was just at the point of unstable. So if you have the proper diagnosis and the proper condition that is surgery based, don't don't wait. Most people and the, the newer people that had the surgery, like myself and anybody that had recent surgery in the last five years or whatever, and even in 10 years that they had it right with the right diagnosis, they say the, their only regret is not doing it earlier. Um, so I wouldn't worry about the horror stories, especially from someone that doesn't have the situations and, and, and doesn't need it. So I'm so grateful for my team for all they're doing. I stay with my therapist because I, I think that her and then the, the next therapist I'm going to be working with, they are full blown into trying to get me to return back to golf, picking up my kids, just strong and healthy. So month three has been so much better. And if you just stay the course, follow your exercise program, you know, come down on the drugs if you need work on your nutrition and everything, which I still need to do more of because a month two is a tough month and um, the different drugs and everything really just got to me. And I ended up, I actually, side note, I ended up getting like some kind of throat thing, had to go on antibiotics, biotics. <laughs> that sounds weird today. And, you know, stuff that just kept my body inflamed. So, I'm very happy with where I am right now. I'm very optimistic of where I'm heading, walking through the stores, Home Depot. For the first time, I didn't even think about it the other day, and I couldn't believe that. Tight and all that, but I made it through. So stay stay to course. And as many have said, it does get better. And I'm I'm looking forward to where month four will be, starting PT, how much stronger I'm getting, um, the mobility, not bending over in 90 days. Oh, that's what I would say month three was for me more than anything on a negative side was m the rest of my body needing to move. And because it wasn't, wasn't moving is what was restricting and hindering a lot of the healing processes and just connections that the body needs. So I'm really glad that I'm starting to move and, and still not bending and twisting per se, but I'm getting more core engagement, hip flexors, hamstrings, and just general uh, strengthening and, you know, shoulders and lats and just I'm able to start doing stuff. <laughs> I had a workout today and I was so happy to have it. So month three, I'm so much better than month two. And just thinking about three months on its own, it's amazing of where I am today versus where I was just three months ago. And then where I was before surgery, oh, I am so happy I did it. And I just pray everything continues to progress. I know doing the PT, things can fire off. They say, you know, more nerve stuff can happen when you're starting to engage your body and getting things moving. But it feels like it's more of a muscle thing and, and getting your body, like if you went to work out, it feels like that's where I'm at. And that's a good place for me to be because that's where I used to zone in and live. I loved being active and physical. So that's where I'm at with month three and just keep plugging away, guys. It, it does get better, but you have to stay diligent and keep as positive as you can because that helps because it can, it can really drag you down. And not only you, but other people. So, all right, that's what I have for now. Month three, it does get better. So let's keep moving, guys. All right, I'm out.